Uh, we have uh, certainly a, a great uh, topic today, especially right at the intersection of uh, federal and state policymaking uh, and around some of our uh, biggest uh, health care uh, priorities. So I expect uh, to, to learn a lot, uh, especially since I, I don't know what to uh, expect uh, in this area and think that we have uh, a lot of open uh, possibilities uh, here. Uh, I want to thank the MSU Sparrow uh, Center for Innovation and Research for being our uh, sponsor uh, today uh, and remind people that this is part of an ongoing series where we try to bring uh, research and practitioners together to uh, support uh, state policy making and that we have uh, our next uh, forum on February 15th. Uh, it's on autonomous vehicles uh, and we expect uh, also to have uh, another full house then. So please get uh, signed up early. Uh, we were turning people away as of uh, this morning. So go to our website and uh, get uh, signed up for that. Uh, we also uh, do a couple of other things that I want to remind people of. Uh, one is that uh, the 27th uh, next Friday in the same room. Uh, we'll have a uh, panel for uh, state legislative interns. Uh, so if you are if you have anybody new in your office and want them to get the most out of their uh, experience here at the Capitol, please uh, send them uh, to us on the 27th uh, at 1130. Uh, uh, we're also doing a new staff training on February 6th. Uh, so if people are interested in that, please uh, come talk to us. Uh, and uh, we'll have uh, a full uh, schedule of panels uh, this, uh, uh, this uh, spring. Uh, so uh, let's get started. Without any uh, further uh, ado, I'd like to introduce Anne-Marie Schneider. Uh, she uh, helps us uh, put together uh, these forms uh, on hot topics addressing the state. Thanks. Thank you, Matt. Thank you. And welcome. Uh, today's topic, forum topic, is Medicaid expansion in Michigan. So we've been hearing quite a bit about Medicaid expansion and what that means within the Affordable Care Act, the, possibly the new Affordable Care Act or the next version. Uh, again, my name is Anne Marie Schneider and I'm going to be your facilitator today. Uh, I want to thank you for being here and I also want to thank our panelists, of course. I'm going to give you a very brief introduction to each of our panelists in the order that they'll be speaking. But you have more bio information in your packets. And we're going to hold questions and remarks until after all of the panelists have made remarks. So, let's see here. Our first speaker is Steve Fitton, a familiar face to many of you. He's our first speaker and has more than 40 years of public sector health policy experience. His career has had emphasis in Medicaid financing, federal waivers, and reinventing health care delivery systems. When he served as Michigan's Medicaid director, a position he held for six years, a little over six years, um, Steve played a key leadership role in implementing the Healthy Michigan program, the state's expansion of Medicaid. He currently serves as principal to Health Management Associates, which is an independent research firm and a consulting firm in the health care industry. Steve is going to give us an overview of the Healthy Michigan program and Michigan's current status of Medicaid expansion under the Affordable Care Act, and he'll also do a roundup of closing comments after painless remarks and before our open discussion. Following Steve will be Larry Martin. Uh, Dr. Martin is a full professor of economics at Michigan State University. His work is in public finance, law and economics, regulation, environmental economics, and sport economics. He's often caught on by both state and federal governments to analyze policy proposals, advise reform, and evaluate reform efforts. Dr. Martin is well published in leading journals, and uh, some of them you may be familiar with, the Journal of International Economics, Public Finance Quarterly, and the Journal of Political Economy. Today, he's going to provide an economic perspective of health care at the state level. Thirdly, we have Amy Zagman, who is the Executive Director of the Michigan Council for Maternal and Child Health. The Council is a coalition of advocates for public policy that supports the health and well-being of women, infants, and children, and families in Michigan. Uh, previously, Amy worked in the Michigan Legislature and served eight out of 13 years uh, as Chief of Staff to former State Senator Beverly Hammerstrom, Majority Floor Leader and Chair of the Senate Health Policy Committee. 
After leaving the legislature, Amy took the position as associate director of the Michigan Association of Community Mental Health Boards before taking the <coughs> current role at the council. Her remarks will look at the Medicaid expansion impact on women and children living in Michigan and how we might look at reform efforts to further uh, assist these, these underserved, often underserved audiences. And finally, we have Tim Mischling. Tim joined the Citizen Research Council in 2016, this year, after working for seven years as a legislative aide in the Michigan House of Representatives, as well as lecturing at Oakland University and the University of Michigan Flint. His primary research focus is health policy, as he holds a master's of public administration degree from U of M and a graduate certificate in public health from Wayne State University. He's, he's most interested in points of consideration for evaluating Medicaid uh, expansion efforts in order to look more objectively at how we might improve on the current health care plans for all citizens. And Tim will propose evaluation efforts and questions to be answered or considered prior to actual perform. So let's begin with Mr. Fitton's remarks. 